I hope you guys have had a great day so far at Microsoft Ignite. My name is Kathy Allen and I'm with Product, Ma Project, Product Management at NetApp. And I also have Toby Van, Van Rogen with me and he is also in Product Management. And today we're going to talk about how NetApp delivers VDI at enterprise scale. So let's first talk about what we know. VDI is difficult, it's hard, it's time consuming, it takes a lot of IT resources and you have to know how to not only deploy, but manage and optimize those environments to make sure that you've got the best environment possible for your users. So since it's so hard, we've developed a system that can help you manage that. It's a SaaS delivered management environment or management for your VDI environment. And it's called VDS, Virtual Desktop Services. And what VDS does is it uses automation and machine logic to help Deploy uh, deployment automation to enable you to deploy your environment in minutes to hours versus day to weeks. It also handles the user management and the entire application stack, allowing you to update and do what you need to do for your entire application stack. It includes resource management and scaling optimization, and it does all this through a SaaS delivered global control plane. It works across your hybrid and multi cloud environment. So if you do have an HCI environment on premise, it will allow you to manage all of that concurrently through a single pane of glass. With VDS, we truly embrace the WVD architecture. So what VDS has is a global control plane that has a REST API as well as a portal UI. And that REST API connects and works directly with WVD, the native WVD, and allows you to have access to that local control plane, providing information on diagnostics and gateways, managing the brokers and such. Then it also has the connection to your Active Directory and allows the environment, the, the administrators to manage the desktops, the apps, the Active Directory, the user profiles and everything else, all from that single pane of glass. So how does it do that? VDI, VDS delivers VDI at enterprise scale with simplicity and it uses automation and machine logic to do that. First of all, with the automated deployment, VDS through that single uh, pane of glass allows you to make the selections that you need and it deploys the network layer, the storage layer, your compute, including that application stack, that environment that, it, the virtual environment, including your custom images. It deploys the user environment, applies any security policies, policies and it provides that Active Directory connection to make sure that you've got the right integration, the right security, and the right users brought in automatically. From there, this is where we start, but then we go into the streamlined management. And we all know that management for these environments can be very, very time consuming, especially if you have to manage multiple environments or even multiple regions within your current cloud system. But what VDS does is it streamlines that management. It allows you to go in and make any adjustments that you need to to your architecture, your infrastructure, your storage. It allows you to make any updates or changes you need to for your OS layer and manage the entire application layer as well as user layers. And with that, you can go in and make your selections and apply them and it will take that those selections and apply it across the entire environment, either subsequently where possible, where possible or concurrently without any additional user intervention. So it's truly just a matter of making your selections and executing on that, and then you can walk away. So that's how it allows you to make these updates and apply these updates in a matter of minutes versus every day going in and applying updates to every individual environment. And then VDS also incorporates another component that allows for simplified management, and that's called VDS Sites. What VDS Sites does is it allows you to create a group of users across multiple regions, across various environments. It could even be across globally. And those, those sets of users 
have a specific significance that create that allows them to be aligned within this group and you can apply your changes, apply your updates to that entire group as a single entity versus having to manage each group in each regional target or if you do have a multi um, cloud environment or a hybrid cloud environment, it allows you to make the those changes you need from one as one entity, as one activity versus having to do it all separately. And it allows you to scale out your environments much quicker as well as a, allows you to avoid potential limitations within a region or a set. So VDS also optimizes the cloud spin. Um, we all know that cloud can be expensive. It can be variable in pricing, but VDS incorporates some specific things that allows you to make sure that you're not paying for resources you don't need to. The first aspect is called live scaling, and that's a policy driven policy based resource allocation that allows you to send to set up exactly what resources are needed for each individual group or density or set of users. And it will go out, live scaling will go out and evaluate all the various cloud options, cloud virtual desktops that are in your environment. And if they are outside of that policy driven or they it's determined that those are not active, life scaling will shut those down so that you're not paying for cloud spend that is not actively being used. Then we also have what's called the workload scheduling engine. And that workload scheduling engine allows you to set up your environment and your resources based on your demand. For instance, you can ramp up resources do a, during a boot storm or a login score storm, during peak work hours or a log off storm, and it allocates those resources to match that policy driven environment. But let's say you've got a user that might want to log in late in the evening or outside of your specific requirements. The wake on demand feature enables those resources to be quickly driven up and activated for that user to utilize those resources when needed. But then as soon as that user logs out of that virtual machine, it immediately shuts those extra resources down. So not only do you have resources that are amped up when they're needed to have ensure better performance for your users, you also have the capability to wake those resources up on demand and meet a user specific needs outside of your normal allocation time frame. And then with those two features, you can save up to 48% of your overall cloud spend very quickly, very easily. Then we also have Spotify NetApp, which also works in an is works with the compute layer to allow you to cut those underlying compute costs by upwards of 90%. And that enables you to save on your compute later. So now you've got no excessive virtual machines that are not being used. You've got your resources when you need them. You have your wake on demand resources when you need those, as well as you can lower your compute cost overall. But that's not the only way that VDS can help you save money. With the automation and the machine logic, VDS streamlines those activities that you're using every day and those IT resources and those administrative costs every day. So without using VDS, if you've got a, a user environment, let's say a, hundred, a thousand users over a three year period, you could end up spending upwards of $1.8 million and you're going to ask how and that's all a matter of the man hours that you're using to maintain that environment deploy it and maintain it over that time period. But through the automation, through the machine logic, enabling activities to be deployed subsequently or concurrently wherever possible, you can turn around and save 67%, upwards of 67% of those IT administrative costs with VDS utilizing only about $600,000. And that's a significant savings on those IT administrative costs, allowing those IT resources to be utilized on more proactive or other activities. So, so
some of the value add that VDS has is that VDS brings in the cloud volume services and the Azure NetApp files to allow you to have a fully managed cloud storage platform. It allows that, that storage capacity be, to be consumed as a volume. It's got higher resiliency and it's more secure. You get higher IOPS, you get low latency, and you can scale out as quick or as much as you absolutely need to all within one environment. There's also Cloud Volumes on tap that has another layer of that capability and portability for those control planes and both provide cost effective and protected environments for you. And it's all built, built on that solid storage and the enterprise class storage of Cloud Volumes service or Cloud Volumes on tap or NetApp, Azure, uh, Azure NetApp files. Well, another component that incorporated with VDS is the fact that we back up, we have the capability of backing up your M365 data. Microsoft is very clear about the fact that the data is your responsibility. They are very good at making sure the environments are stable, but your data is your responsibility. So VDS has the capability of utilizing SAS backup for M365 to allow you to back up those environments your OneDrive, your SharePoint Online, your Teams content, your Teams data, and, and all that Exchange data that's online. It's, you're able to do that very simply, and it's a activation on demand feature within the VDS control plane. Another major factor within VDS is, within VDI is making sure that you're compliant, you're, the, your users are utilizing the right compliance levels or GDPR levels to meet those necessary requirements that they're not spending or sending information that's out of compliance, that they're not saving information that might be an issue within your HIPAA or PII, GDPR, whatever regulation that you're that you're responsible for. The Cloud <clears throat> compliance allows you to go out and view that information to make sure that you're compliant. So, and it provides automatic alerting, alerting and reporting to enable you to have those resources and know what potentially can be out of compliance, addressing them quickly so that you're not in a situation where you might have to pay fines and such for data that is out of compliance and it protects you as well as your customers or your users. Then to wrap all of that up, VDS incorporates what's called, what's called Cloud Insights, and that's a true infrastructure monitoring activity that allows you to see exactly what's going on with you in your entire environment, the entire stack. It gives you reporting, it gives you Anal analytics on how your computer, your storage, your networking is all running. And it allows you to address things immediately as soon as you find a potential issue. Maybe you've got a certain VM that's running out of control and you need to shut that down. Or maybe you're having an issue with a specific region with latency or something to that effect. You can address those and you will get alerts through the Cloud Insights to allow you to address them, as well as the fact that it's integrated into the SAS Delivered Global Control Plane for VDS in that single pane of glass. So we had a customer, University Medical Associates, and they had an environment that was a Citrix environment on-prem. They weren't happy with it. They were looking to move something to the cloud. They didn't like the Citrix solution for cloud, so they would wanted to try and figure something out. They went out and tried WVD native. They found it was very complex. They had a hard time dealing with it. They were going to go back to the Citrix on-prem, but I actually ended up attending a Microsoft webinar where they talked about VDS and the integration that VDS has with native WVD. So we got a challenge and the challenge was if you can convert or migrate 
150 users to WVD through VDS in a matter of two weeks, we'll go with it. It was done in a matter of three days and 150 users were up and running live with VDS on WVD in three days. Within 90 days, they tripled that user count and now they have all of their users as well as students up and available on VD and WVD utilizing VDS to manage their environment. And that was all done in a matter of just a couple of days and then we migrated the 90, the other 450 users in 90 days and since then we've migrated all of their users. So VDS is a totally self-managed environment. The user, the customer, or the, the customer set or the MSP will manage that entire environment through the VDS console. But let's say you need an environment where somebody else manages it, where you outsource it. We also have what's called virtual desktop managed services. And VDMS is a turnkey managed service offering Windows virtual desktops that utilizes the NetApp Enterprise Class Storage. It's powered by VDS, so it handles the provisioning, the orchestration, and the security. We take on all the risk management. We provide analytics back. It right-sizes the environment to make sure that the customer is getting the best possible experience available. The customer does not need to have cloud accounts or resources to be able to use VDS, VDMS, and the customer does not need to manage that cloud infrastructure storage or anything else. NetApp handles all of it. All you need to bring to the table are your users and your applications, and we take care of the rest. And that is available on Azure at this current time using Azure NetApp files or Azure files and we handle everything for you other than the apps and the users. So we have a great promo for you too. If you're considering going out and moving to WVD and need the resource to help manage your VDI environment, we have a great promo for you. So the customers get saved in two different ways. First of all, the customers get to choose how they're getting their discounts. If they just want to use VDS, you get that for $6 per user per month, and that is only for Microsoft users on WVD. If you want to incorporate that with four terabytes of Azure NetApp files premium, you can bring that price down to $3 per user per month. So with as few as 400 users, you can bring those savings from an $8 MSRP down to $3 with that four terabytes of Azure NetApp files. And the details are that there is a one term minimum. There's no charge for VDS for the first 90 days, which is huge. You can access this and, and order this through the marketplace. The $3 option is not customer pricing or public pricing. It all has to be done through the marketplace and it does have to have the four terabytes of ANF and there is a minimum of 100 users of VDS. And the offer ends April 25th, 2021. So if you are considering going to a VDS environment, going to a WVD environment utilizing ANF, with VDS, I recommend you strongly consider doing that now because that's the best savings we've had on VDS since it was deployed and announced. So what do you do now? What are your next steps? First of all, you can try VDS for 30 days with a sandbox that we have. It's called the 30 day sandbox and you can actually win. See that? QR code in the upper right hand corner. You can use that QR code to link to the sandbox or you can go to that link and link to the sandbox. And for everybody who signs up for the sandbox, 
that date is wrong. Anyway, in the next 24 hours, you're going to be registered to win a prize. You can also email Microsoft at netout.com if you have further questions or need further assistance. Or you can click on that lower QR code and go out to cloud.netout.com forward slash virtual desktop service Azure and read more information. There are case studies, there is customer resources, there are a plethora of different um, content out there that will make it very easy for you to gather new information. And all of those are available and up and running right now. So net net. NetApp unlocks the best of cloud and it does so with VDS and ANF. And we've got a couple more minutes here, so I am going to go to any questions that are out there. Toby, are there any questions that we need to answer at this point? I'm, I'm seeing some questions around. Where did it go? Around integrating other Azure services, uh, Sentinel, threat protection, things like that with uh, VDS deployments. That'd be a, a good one to cover. So we do have the ability to um, incorporate some of the Azure protection like Azure Defender or um, Azure Active Direct or Active Directory B2C. I'm not sure about uh, I'm not specifically sure about Sentinel, but I'm sure there's you can go ahead and incorporate that for additional security within your environment. There's also the capability of bringing in other aspects from the NetApp point of view that will help further improve your performance and capabilities within VDS and your VDI environment. Let's see. Um, does NetApp have a specific backup session at Ignite? I don't think we do for um, cloud backup or SaaS backup for M365. However, we do have a virtual event tomorrow evening where we will have people for cloud backup as well as SaaS backup. If you go to the event tomorrow evening and go to the Modern Workplace booth, the Rana Workplace table, I will be able to direct you. I will be manning that table and be able to direct you to the resources that allows you to get the specific information. Uh, how to gain accessibility control in the outsource VDMS. Not sure exactly what you're looking for there, but with VDMS, we have a full onboarding process that includes everything from making sure that we can get the information we need, having that Active Directory connection, and we provide training so that whoever is outsourcing this VDI management to NetApp, we provide you training on how you can utilize the, the control plane to manage your users, to manage your applications, as well as to see some of the analytics. What does the ANF management look like in VDS? So the storage management within VDS is in that console and it allows you to manage that ANF environment, uh, manage the storage allocations. Maybe um, you need to assign a certain group of users more storage or reduce that storage. You can do all of that within VDS on the control plane. And that does include the performance as, as Toby just mentioned. Hey, uh, Kathy, can you go back and show the QR codes? And leave that up. And Certainly. There you go. Um, do we have documents? So yes. If you click right down here on this lower QR code, that will take you specifically to the virtual desktop service for Azure. And if you click on this upper QR code, that or t screenshot on that upper QR code, that takes you directly to the sandbox. 
Um, I'm looking at some of the other questions that are there. So after the 30 day trial of the VDS sandbox, do we have a free tier or will it be paid? So it depends on what you're needing to do. The 30 day trial for the sandbox allows you to go in and actively use VDS in our in our demo environment and see exactly what you need to do or see exactly what you can do. Look at the automation, look at the optimization, deploy an environment, scale up or scale down to meet that environment. And once that 30 days is up, then we will reach out to you and make sure everything went well. If you need help during that 30 days, we'll help you. But it will also allows you to go ahead and when we contact you, we can find out exactly what your experiences were and what you're needing, or you can contact us and we can help you go ahead and enable VDS within your own environment to determine what you need, the whole bit. Um, let's see what other questions we have here. So VDS can manage environments across a variety of hyperscalers. Oh, that's Toby, Toby responding. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We do not have a plug-in to the VDS SAM, uh, the VDS uh, SAS Delivered Global Control Plane for the endpoint management. That would be, have to be managed differently, but it may be able to be managed within the same local machine that we have set up for VDS. Um, I'm not sure about that one. We would have to ask some of the engineers, but I will take that if you want to um, let us know who you are, whoever asked that question. We can take that and go ahead and get that answered and email you the information so that you will have that available as well. And I think that I handled the questions that you had not handled yet, Toby. Were there any others that you saw? No, there's more, but we'll be able to get to those uh, in writing. Okay, great. All right, at this point, I'm going to say thank you very much. Don't forget, we're here to help. Go ahead and utilize those QR codes and get to the resources that you need, including the 30 day sandbox, as well as the other resources out on the Azure VDS page that's available. And if you do have other questions that you want to ask specifically, you can go ahead and use Microsoft.NetApp.com. At this point, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope that uh, you find everything that you need very easy to access and have a great Ignite experience. Bye-bye.